Let ABC be a triangle with AB less than AC less than BC. Let the in center and in circle of triangle ABC be I and omega, respectively. Let X be the point on line BC different from C, such that the line through X parallel to AC is tangent to omega. Similarly, let Y be the point on line BC different from B, such that the line through Y parallel to AB is tangent to omega. Let AI intersect the circumcircle of triangle ABC again at P does not equal A. Let K and L be the midpoints of AC and AB, respectively. Prove that angle KIL plus angle YPX equal 180 degrees. This is problem four, the only geometry problem in the International Mathematical Olympiad 2024. The problem is relatively easy, with 65% of the participants scoring the full seven marks. No marks are awarded for the construction, but it is essential to solve the problem. The student must be familiar with geometric terms. From the first statement, in triangle ABC, AB is the shortest side. AC is longer than AB, and BC is the longest side. I is the incenter of the triangle. The incenter of a triangle is the intersection point of the three interior angle bisectors. This means IA equally divides angle A, IB divides angle B, and IC divides angle C. The incenter is equidistant from all sides of the triangle making it the center of the triangle's in-circle, which is the largest circle that can fit inside the triangle. X is a point on BC. We can draw a line through X parallel to AC, and this line is also tangent to AC. These two lines are parallel. Similarly, there is another tangent line parallel to AB, and the point on BC is called Y. Next, we can draw the circumcircle that passes through A, B, and C. We then extend the line AI to meet the circumcircle at P. K is the midpoint of AC, and L is the midpoint of AB. We need to prove that angle KIL plus angle YPX equals 180 degrees. Let's start proving the problem. I is the incenter of the triangle, so AI bisects angle A. The AC and the tangent line through X are parallel. Let's call the intersection point on AB, X prime. We can extend the X prime X to meet AP, and let this point be D. Since AC and DX are parallel, and AD crosses both lines, angle CAD and angle ADX are alternate angles and are equal. This is also useful when proving AI is the same length as AD. Draw line BP. In the circumcircle, the arc PC subtends angle PAC and angle PBC. The angles subtended by the same arc are equal. So angle PBX and angle ADX are equal. In quadrilateral PBXD, angle PBX and angle PDX add up to 180 degrees, so the four points P, B, X, and D are concyclic. We can use the same reasoning to prove that the points P, C, Y, and D are also concyclic. Next, we will prove I is the midpoint of AD. From I, draw two lines to tangent points, which we will name T1 and T2. These lines are radii, so they are equal in length. The radius and tangent are perpendicular, so angles at T1 and T2 are 90 degrees. Now, in right angle triangles AIT1 and DIT2, two angles and a pair of sides are equal, so they are congruent. From this, we can conclude that the corresponding sides, AI and ID, are equal. I is the midpoint of AD. Now draw a line BD. In triangle ABD, it is given that L is the midpoint of AB, and we prove that I is the midpoint of AD. Thus, BD and LI are parallel. Angle ADB is equal to the angle AIL because they are corresponding angles. By similar reasoning, we can conclude that KI and CD are parallel. Angle CDA and angle KIA are corresponding angles, so they are equal. Therefore, angle BDC and angle KIL are equal. If we can prove angle BDC and angle YPX add up to 180 degrees, angle KIL and angle XPY also add up to 180 degrees. In triangle BCD, three interior angles add up to 180 degrees. We have already shown that PBXD is concyclic. 
Arc XD subtends angle XBD and angle XPD, which are equal. Similarly, PCYD is concyclic, and the angle YCD and angle YPD are subtended by the same arc, making them equal. Now we can finish the proof. Angle BDC plus angle DBX plus angle DCY is 180 degrees. We have proved that angle BDC is equal to angle KIL, angle DBX equals angle DPX, and angle DCY equals angle DPY. The sum of angle DPX and DCY is equal to angle XPY. Finally, angle KIL plus angle XPY equals 180 degrees.